Hey, hey, it is April from April Miller Coaching. And today I want to talk to you guys about um, habits. Um, habits are very important. Um, and for this first video, I just want to share with you and talk with you about what's a habit and why is it important and difference between good habits and bad habits. So we know we have habits. Everybody does. Um, they could be good. They could be bad. But we know that a habit is something that you do all the time, and it's usually pretty hard to give up. It tends to occur subconsciously. Um, and so, like, for example, always flushing the toilet or always brushing your teeth. Um, and we know that there's two types of habits. There's good habits and bad habits. And a bad habit is a negative behavior pattern, such as procrastinating or if you do overspending. <clears throat> and a good habit is one that's really beneficial to your physical and mental health that's often linked to a high level of discipline and self-control. So some examples of that could be regular exercise, drinking water, and thinking positive. And why are habits important? Well, like I said before, everybody has habits and every successful person stresses how important it is to form those good habits. And so I kind of came up with a wondering question that I, I think maybe other people have too, um, why it's important to have habits. Well, first of all, a habit is who you are. I mean, they come, become such a part of our routines that they become us. We are them. Um, for example, do you want to change who you are? Well, start a habit. And you can change your habits. So we know the old saying, old habits are hard to break, but it is possible to change habits. Also, good habits, they allow you to reach your goals. So if you want to do something, you need to start a good habit and they set a foundation for life, and they set the tone for your entire life. So if you start a habit by greeting children, like I'm a teacher, you greet children with joy, you become a joyful person. Um, habits are the first step of your own life plan. So when you set goals for yourself, it's not the goal that's going to help you, but rather it's the habits that you form that are going to help you. And habits stop um, wasted time, and they replace that motivation. So we become more efficient. We stop wasting that time. We get things done. Motivation is short-lived. That's why I said that habits replace motivation. Instead, you want momentum. And habits give you that momentum, which is what you need in order to reach your goals. So when people say, well, I used to have the motivation to work out and eat right. And I don't have it anymore. You're right. That motivation is short-lived. You've got to have it become a habit so that you can get that momentum so you continue with that. Um, so those are just some, an outline of habits. So tomorrow I'm going to talk to you about how to establish good habits and how to make them step stick. And I hope you ha guys have a great day.